What would you do if there was a zombie apocalypse? Children from the Liberty Science Center summer camp explored that very question on Thursday at the Princeton Plasma Physics Laboratory. Science educator Andrew Zwigger gave these children a tour of the lab and discussed alternative sources of energy as well as the possibility of fusion energy. He also said what was in store for the future of their plasma research. We are approximately 10 years away from turning on the world's most sophisticated uh, largest science experiment ever called ITER, which will be the first time that we are going to make a fusion plasma that produces more energy than it consumes. Earlier in the week, the children learned how to make tents for shelter and grow crops for food, so the final leg was learning what to do if a disaster knocked out electricity and running water. Kushbu Dulani of Jersey City shares why she joined the camp. I would get like thoughts like, oh, what if one day we run out of food or water here? How would we survive and what do we need? At the conclusion of their visit, the children were asked to make miniature solar-powered cars. Although the task came with materials and directions, it was not an easy feat. But every group produced a functioning car. Right. For CentralJersey.com, I'm Maddie Anand.